This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the laser target scripting command, which can be used to gather position data for use with other scripting commands. In this example, I'll be using the laser target command to gather the position data for use with the command artillery fire command to get this mortar team to fire on whatever I designate. As we're able to see in this trigger, for the position entry for the command artillery fire command, I've instead used an array consisting of position laser target player. So in this case, the position data used for the command artillery fire will be the position designated by the player's laser designator. And the artillery will fire its burst of 382mm mortars when I activate radio trigger alpha. And we can do this command repeatedly as the trigger is set for repeated activation. In game with the laser designator out, I'll activate radio trigger alpha to call the command without activating the laser. And we're able to see, with no target, it will not fire the artillery. Next, when I activate the laser, put it on target, and execute radio trigger alpha, we can see as it now calculates the position data and adds it to command artillery fire for the target painted by the laser target function. As I've set this example up so that the radio trigger is set on repeatable, I'll next designate the second target and show a second example of this in action. As I execute the radio trigger again, we're able to see as the artillery now adjusts for the new position based on the new position data calculated by the laser target function. 